Hello and welcome to another training video in this series of Microsoft Configuration Manager. In this video, I will show you how you can use the PowerShell to manage the Microsoft Configuration Manager formerly known as SECM. The learning objectives of this video are viewing all the commands related to the Configuration Manager and viewing the Configuration Manager information using PowerShell. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Without much ado, let's get started. You can use several methods to connect to the PowerShell to manage the SECM. And one of the easiest method is through the Microsoft Configuration Manager console. You can go to the left top corner. As you see, this is my Microsoft Configuration Manager. And there are options available to connect to the PowerShell console or to connect via Windows PowerShell IAC. IAC is Integrated Scripting Environment that is used basically for a scripting purpose. It provides you the graphical console and a command line console and the IntelliSense kind of features. Here you will notice that uh, there is a script that is coming up automatically, some commands, the site code is S01 coming up. So it will automatically connect you to the PowerShell drive for SECM once you execute this code as you will see at the bottom the prompt is changed now to s01 my site code so i'm connected to the powershell drive and now i can start running the powershell commands so basically you cannot launch the powershell directly from the system and start running the commands first you will have to connect to the powershell drive which can be a daunting task if you're not good with PowerShell drives. I have done a video on that. I'll put the link in the description about the PowerShell drives. How do we deal with them? So it is important to connect and uh, the PowerShell console will help you to do all this once you launch the PowerShell from here. Well, the first command I ran is get command from the module. The configuration manager is the name of the module and out grid view, which listed all the commands. If I do a measure object to show you, so there are 1176 commands available for SECM management. So there are uh, tons of uh, PowerShell commands which you have available to do the automation. In fact, we have a dedicated training program on SECM administration with PowerShell, a three days training program. And uh, I will be doing uh, some of the videos on uh, SECM automation through the PowerShell in future. So stay tuned and subscribe the channel if you are not um, the part of the community. Well, uh, here I run the command get cm device and then format table to list the name, ad site name, site code and the device OS properties. It shows me the devices, the uh, configuration manager devices available and uh, if i want to see the distribution point so the command is get cm distribution point this shows the distribution point available in this uh, site this is the london cfg.atom.com server and the details you can see of your distribution point here so this is another command that you can use to do the inventory within your secm site because all these commands are with the verb get so they are to get the or fetch the information Next is get CM management point. If I want to see the management point, but only few properties, so format table, then the network OS path, the role name, the site code and the role count. So that I can see here, the management point has nine roles installed on it. The site code is S01, role name is SMS management point and the network OS path is the londoncfg.atom.com. Well, this is the alias of the command format table in case you are new to the PowerShell. So uh, this can be like a confusing term. So this is nothing but the PowerShell command format table. And there is a property parameter which is missing from here because this parameter is positional. So I can either type it or if I even don't type and provide the value here, it will work. So if I go with this uh, property and then I run this command, you will observe that the command will work the same way that it worked last time. Here we go. And uh, this is the another command, excuse me. So this is get cm package command and then the format table I have used, but yes to uh, 
compare it with the previous commands format or the shortcuts used so property was uh, ignored because it is a positional parameter it has a fixed position the first position is for property and then format table has an alias called ft to make it short so as you see the uh, command executes without any errors the same way it executed earlier which was the full syntax well next command i run is the get cm application and i want to see the applications in uh, the microsoft configuration manager remember the packages are the classic approaches to deploy the softwares whereas the applications have uh, much in much more intelligence and uh, provide you better flexibility we'll be doing a video on packages and applications so stay tuned and see the differences between these two next is get cm site if i show you the cm site so this is the site site code is s01 which is a three letter code where we have to provide to the SCCM sites as you know then get cm user it will display the users i have all these users discovered in this system center site if you have not watched the previous videos you can watch them how do we do the discovery for the systems users from the active directory and uh, how do we create the collections for users or devices to target the deployments next command is with this uh, format table name i need to know the name the domain the select first five i'm showing you the you know first five objects instead of showing those hundreds of users so these are the uh, objects that i'm using okay sometimes uh, uh, it is important that you put the commands in order basically the format commands should always come at the right as the best practice so this is also one of the use case for troubleshooting for you as you see that earlier it shown only the three results instead of first five so this is the uh, format table command now on the right side the format command should always come to the right of the command well uh, the next command is get cm user collection so the cm user collections are actually the logical group of users that we can use to target the user settings uh, in the SCCM. so we group the users into a collection so this is the list of the collections and as you see here toronto users or toronto managers or london users collections have been created in this SCCM site next is the device collection where from you can see the device collections in this SCCM site so i run this selected part this line of code and i can see here the device collections created in SCCM. 